Welcome to Office Hours. Now, I don't want to jump the gun here, but it looks like there are rumblings of one prediction I have for 2020 is already coming true. The U.S. Army just banned the use of TikTok on government phones. Now, what does this say? The U.S. Army is basically saying it's a security threat. It's a cybersecurity threat to have TikTok downloaded on U.S. Army registered cell phones. Now, I did say that TikTok is very different. It is a great resource. It's a, it's a fun resource. It's a social media outlet, but it's owned by China, right? That's a lot of data that is not going to Silicon Valley. It is going specifically to China. So we're seeing the first uh, crumble of, of what the government is interested in and in looking at TikTok specifically as a cybersecurity threat. Another one. Surprise, surprise, Facebook is taking a stand on deep fakes. Another big thing that I called in 2020 was this encouragement of, and this increase of deep fakes specifically in 2020. Now Facebook is joining in saying that they will ban any deep fake that is intentionally misleading. Right? Anything that is not obvious parody or comedy specifically, but if it's intentionally misleading, Facebook will ban those deep fakes from Facebook. This is a great move. I am super supportive of this. This is, this is the right move. Um, it's kind of surprising that uh, Facebook is, is making big stands. Facebook in the last few weeks has done the complete opposite of doing anything uh, to support uh, being part of the political system and you know censoring misleading information so great news for facebook where have you been all this time wait a minute who are you one of the best resources that came up this week i really want to put on your radar if you work in facebook and work with videos and ads and etc i really want to put on your radar facebook traffic source insight what traffic source insights does is it categorizes how much time views, how much views, how much, how much time videos being watched in four major categories and separates those into those four major categories. So you can make very strategic decisions on what you're spending time, resources, money on through Facebook to promote events, uh, products, services, etc. Now those four categories that Facebook is separating all that data into include followers, uh, shares, paid, and recommendations. So those four areas specifically, Facebook is now saying, here's the data to support each one. So you can look at each one and say, okay, am I getting the bank for my buck out of pay compared to recommendations? Maybe I need to move more to the recommendation side or more to the paid side. Every company is gonna be a little bit different, so there's no golden rule here, but it's great and this is, this is really good data that uh, especially small businesses can really use to benefit their time, money, people, resources, and how, what they do on Facebook. This is a great move and something I would highly suggest, especially small businesses, that they really look into um, the next week. Another one. And finally, the office hours this week is actually career advice. So I'm a big, I'm huge into media relations, media training, social media, public relations, branding, marketing, that whole gamut. I love staying up to date, I love tech, I love that. And, but what happens a lot of times in class and one-on-one -on -one meetings, what a lot of the questions students have are career questions. Not necessarily the, the newest tech or the newest algorithms, but they'll ask for one-on-one -on -one meetings for career advice and what's going on with their career. I just had a meeting with a student and they were unsure what direction they wanted to go. They were thinking of social media, but they're also like event planning, they also like copywriting. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of different areas specific that they're interested in, and this student wasn't sure where to go, and it was so overwhelming for them, and they weren't going anywhere. So I'll just share a story that I gave to this student. is the, 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 the tale of the Beridian's ass. So the Beridian, Beridian's ass fable is basically this, this donkey, this ass, that is in a field. To the left, 100 yards is water. To the right, 100 yards is food. The ass becomes very hungry, very thirsty, very quickly. Looks to the left at the water, looks to the right at the food, and doesn't make a decision. Can't decide to get the water first or the food first. So the donkey dies. The ass is completely dead. Because if the ass in this fable could just have the intuition and the knowledge to say, I'll just pick any direction. I'll just go get the water first and then go get the food, or get the food and get, doesn't matter, right? Does not matter as long as we move. So I'm just going some direction that ass would have lived throughout this fable. 
I love that because it sort of goes on the side of you don't have to know what exactly you want to do. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I think a lot of my students don't need to say, oh, I know exactly I want to be community relations for a nonprofit in the specific Northwest. Uh, there's a few of those students that come in exactly knowing what they would do, but that's the, the vast minority of students. So what I would say is if you're not sure exactly what that job is or location is or what company, what sector, agency versus corporate, versus nonprofit versus government, there's a lot of options, just move. Just go in a direction. It doesn't matter if it's something that you, uh, you love by any means, just move in a direction. Go into social media, take a social media position, interview, go for that one. You say, ah, this is your time to figure it out, right? Whether that be because you are early in your career and you have the flexibility to try things out, or even if you're midway through or um, like sort of mid-tier in your career, the opportunity to just move in a direction, even if you move in social media, perhaps you start in social media and then that opens up an opportunity for photography, right? And maybe that's what you, photography is only 10% of social media, right? But you find a passion in that and that moves you to photography. Now, maybe when you get to photography, videography opportunities emerge and you become even more passionate about videography. You can move in those directions even though you started in social media. So just simply just moving in a direction. Go towards something. Don't sit around saying, ah, I should weigh my options. What is the best option? I don't want to jump until I know what I want to do for sure. Forget that. That is, I would not recommend that whatsoever. Move in a direction. Interview for multiple positions. Take on internships. Take on young friends boards. Take on volunteer opportunities. Try things out. That's why I highly suggest keep in mind the Beridian's ass fable. Don't be that ass that dies in between the water and the food. Move in a direction. You can go in another direction in the future. And as a very famous scholar once said,